What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. Hope everyone's been having a blast. Uh, your boy got a pretty big uh, promotional bonus, I guess, if you want to call it. I went and bought myself a brand new PC, uh, and I don't know what the hell was going on because my other PC was pretty damn bomb, but this one doesn't seem to have any issues uh, with playing this game with any crashes so far, so knock on wood. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about gates and mining. I think this is an important one that a lot of people are going to want to listen to and understand, especially if you're not playing this game and you're waiting for global, to kind of understand what the benefits are of gates, how mining works, and also how this will help you level up a lot quicker so first off when you start off your day after reset you're gonna have some gate missions these are the missions right here okay you can see here there's a couple of them kicking around so what this means essentially is when you finish three gates you're going to be given this exp so 7350 when you finish it again you're going to give be given another 7350 exp and then when you finish it with the last time which is going to require four gates you're going to get the 9750 now this only happens three times after this is completed you're going to get gold instead at a very low quantity okay so that's the one thing you want to note is you always want to finish these gate missions and gates are where the stamina uh, one of the stamina systems in this and they use these blue keys okay you can see here they're called gate keys uh, you get 11 of them out of the 10 I think this might be with the package that you purchase so these might be a little lower for those free to play players uh, and then of course you also scan here you can see here there's a scanner what scanning does is it increases the level of difficulty which means the gates themselves will be higher level as well as sometimes you'll get yourself some special gates now this is one of the first times I've gotten an S rank red gate those are the hardest ones in the game you guys can see here that it is a hob goblin leader my current power is 45,000 this is only 30,000 so we're going to jump in now a couple things to note about gates as well okay there are icons near each of these gates when you see the three hunter icons that means only your hunters can be used when you see a, a Jin Wu icon that means Jin Wu and the hunters can be used so keep that in mind now the higher the gate level the better the drops and the better exp and gold you'll get okay so let's go ahead and jump in here i'm going to do this red gate this is the current squad i have i'll auto form this this will probably change it up a little bit for me you guys can see here light is the recommended faction or or weapon the boss's passives are as follows decreased damage taken when the boss possesses a break uh summons a special object and then also strong against dark units so you don't really want to have any dark units kicking around here uh, so right here in, especially with this weapon the scythe probably not the best choice so you may want to switch this up to something like light i, I have a couple light weapons we'll just keep it as this for now just so you guys show you, i can show you guys some of this now keeping in mind i'm also going to be doing a full-on uh weapon sh uh, showcase on every weapon and which ones you should be going for that's coming up very soon as well okay so let's go ahead and enter here so what ends up happening is you get into the red gate you'll have a couple objectives now red gates work a little differently as you guys are aware if you have been reading the manwas or understand some of the anime they have special objectives to them okay so we're going to go ahead and jump in here and do this one and we'll do the see these little pillars you normally don't get these in the gates okay so we're going to go ahead and do this I and mean, you can go ahead and start summoning your guys in just to help out a little bit with dps okay let's kill this guy off and now you can see here it exposes it once you kill the enemies right we have three minutes and 37 seconds to finish this so you want to make sure you get this done all right, moving on to the next one now. So these little pillars here are going to be protected for a while. The main thing is you want to have enough DPS in order to finish these off before time runs out. If you don't, then you're kind of screwed, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. Love this sword, by the way. Like I said, I'll be doing a full showcase on all the weapons so you guys have a pretty decent idea. And then I'll do a showcase on... on um, skills as well too because those are super super important understanding how Jin Wu's skills all apply and which ones to go for for what scenarios and what cases okay so here we go let's break this up now as you guys are aware they are stronger against dark so using this weapon will work out a little bit better but that doesn't mean the other weapon won't do enough damage there we go you guys can see damage is still pretty damn good I was hoping that guy would actually hit me he did not Okay, we're going to do a little AoE here. Kill this boss off. Okay, let's get a little bit of HP. This is why the beauty of having Min around is just getting some HP back after that damage. Okay, you guys can see also there's weather, right? There we go. We got one left. Sometimes you, you like, I've done, like, you'll get cold, and cold has an effect on you. Sometimes you'll hit hot, and that'll have an effect on you. So there's various different effects each of these red gates have. So that's the, the red gates are a little bit more unique in that sense, okay? So once this is completed, I'll show you guys kind of what the 
what the purpose of these gates are and how mining works, okay? Okay, let's go back here. I hope it was counter that. Good. We got hit there. We gotta get this out of the way. There we go. You don't want to get stuck with that bomb there. That will freaking hurt, man. Okay, boss is going to get hit pretty hard here. Remember to do as much perfect dodge as you can in order to do this armor break. This should be able to... Oh, okay, we got to kill this bomb. There we go. Two seconds. That was close. That was actually a lot closer that time. There we go. Cleared out the red special gate. Now, this might be one of your first times seeing this, okay? You guys can see we get a daily here as well. So you, here's what the bonus is, right? You get yourself blue gear. You can go all the way up to purple. You get yourself the world drop, obviously, for the, the event that's going on. Plus, you get yourself these skill scrolls, which are very, very important in order to level up Jinwoo's skills. And then also the fact that you get rune fragments are really nice because rune fragments allow you to cast or create new skills in the crafting section, okay? So once you get that done, you'll see what happens next. Now, we got the EXP coming up right now. Okay, one hour's elapsed. Thanks for letting me know. There you go, EXP. I'm almost level 30 now, which will actually help me unlock the Necromancer class. I'll be doing that today as well, too, and I'll show you guys what that's all about. Now, if I go to go to mining, now you guys can see here, this is now available to mine. If you click on this, this actually does give you Essence Stones, which is your summoning stones, as well as low-tier Mana Crystals. A lot of these things don't do that, right? So some of the B-class ones don't, uh, this one w won't, a classes do, but the S classes give you the most amount. So obviously, that's why you want to aim to get this. Plus, you get the most amount of EXP. Now, keep in mind, this will disappear unless you do mine it. So make sure you are mining it. Now, the beauty of mining, of course, is you're going to be able to go use these things in the exchange shop. There's a mana crystal exchange shop in the actual shop section, which allows you to get a plethora of things, such as melding cubes to get your uh, levels up, to get your designs, also to get your weapon level up. If you want to do more farming for gear, Encore mission keys are really good. Advanced mana crystals, this allows you to, uh, to create uh, more of the uh, skills as well too within the crafting system. So all of these things are very important. So these mining gems or mining crystals, guys, something you definitely want to keep up on and don't waste your time uh, on doing lower tier. Try to do as much higher tier things as you possibly can in order to get these. Now, here you go. I'm going to max these two out because I do need some more of these. Let's go there. 70 wasted right there. Wasted. I say wasted, but it's used. Uh, and then you want to also get the designs. These are very important because designs allow you to level up your weapons uh, and, and ascend them to a further level as well as these melding cubes. Okay. After that here, you can decide what you want to go with. Like really, at the end of the day, these mana crystals might be really useful for me. I'll do this right here. Get 15 of these. And then we can go ahead and craft that after. So guys, very, very important to use as many of your keys as you possibly can. Now, one last thing I want to talk about. I'm going to go ahead and scan here this time. You guys can see level 9 is the highest I can scan. Let's see what pops up. There is a sweep system. So this one really, really sucked. If you don't like your gates, you can rescan again when it allows you in 9 minutes. Or sometimes you can rescan by using gems. I don't have enough gems to rescan right now. As a matter of fact, it should. There you go. I actually do have enough. So we'll do 30. I'll just show you guys how this works. You guys can see here, new ones popped up. There's an A rank one. Now if I click this, there's a sweep option, right? You guys can sweep by using 100 crystals don't do that honestly just go into there and actually use your uh gates and go ahead and, and fight these bosses it's a lot smarter especially if you're going to be free to play to not use your crystals i just use you i just use one to show you guys how a refresh works but you don't want to do that you want to focus on this now if you don't like your gates you can go and do something else for 14 minutes come back and then refresh again and you should be good to go all right guys so there you guys have it that's how gates work that is the purpose of gates that's how mining works that's how you use a shop uh, i think we've covered it all we've showed you guys a red gate these white gates here are special ones where it allows you to kill like weak monsters like this in this case is goblins uh you kill as many of them as you can you get yourself experience points reputation gold and gear uh, and then that's pretty much it so this is pain hope you enjoyed the video i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care